Hello everyone. Here we give you some examples about break-even analysis. Let's review what we have learned about break-even analysis. Here are some notations and the symbols we use. We use P to represent price per unit sold. We use X to represent the quantity of products. And we use TR to represent total revenue. So TR equals price multiplied the quantity. And the VC being used as variable cost per unit. And TVC is the variable cost. So TVC comes from variable cost per unit multiply the quantity of products. And the TFC being said total fixed cost. So total cost come from two parts, total fixed cost and total variable cost. And then PFT we use to represent the profit. So profit is the difference between total revenue and total cost. CM per unit is contribution margin per unit, which give us how much from selling each product can be contributed to cover the fixed cost. So the contribution margin per unit come from the difference of price and variable cost per unit. And again, if we talk about the total situation, CM is contribution margin, give us the idea, the difference between total revenue and the total variable cost. That means how much we can use to cover the fixed cost. C rate is contribution rate. Contribution rate is explained as the percentage contribution margin per unit takes in single price, or contribution margin takes the percentage in the total revenue. So by solving the mathematical equation, we can come out of the break-even units or break-even quantity from total fixed cost divided by contribution margin per unit. And we can also directly express break-even sales in dollar from total fixed cost divided by C rate, contribution rate. Of course, if we do know break-even units, and we can use break-even units, multiply the price, we can get break-even sales in dollar as well. Here's the example one. Nia and Judy are putting together a plan for a student skiing trip for their class. The trip would involve two days of ski passes with a one-night stay in a local hotel and round-the-trip bus transportation to ski resort. The cost of a two-day ski pass is $99. They estimate the hotel stay would cost $49 per night per person to rent the bus and to pay for the driver's time would cost $1,000 for the two days trip. The bus can hold a maximum of 40 people, exclude the driver if they sell only 25 tickets how much should they charge each person for that trip? Here is the situation we can apply the concept of break-even. It is not necessarily to be the situation of manufacturing. It is our common activity. Whoever organize this kind entertainment trip and the basic ideas to make it happen and non-profit situation. So that is break-even situation. So from here we can look at the tickets being considered as the product in this event. So tickets generate the revenue. So we're looking for the ticket price how to set up the ticket price, we can break even. That means our revenue would cover exactly how much it costs. From this question background, we can see that 
one thousand dollar, which is the rent of the bus and the paid drivers. This part has nothing to do with how many tickets. Ten people, fifteen people, or twenty-five people, or thirty people, they can still take by the same bus, and the driver going to spend the same time. So this part of the cost has nothing to do with the quantity of the products or the number of the tickets. So this part would be considered as a fixed cost, and the part of the cost related to the each. Ticket, and we can see that the ski, ski passes and the hotel room. So that's directly related each individual person. So this part would give us the idea. Variable cost per unit comes from ninety-nine dollar plus forty-nine dollar, which is one hundred forty-eight dollar. We got twenty-five people going. So how much should we charge for each ticket to break even? So that is the question. So in that case, and we have total revenue, twenty-five p, and total cost, one thousand dollar fixed cost, plus one hundred forty-eight variable cost per unit, multiply twenty-five. So the basic idea break even, which is TC and the TR are equal. So in that case, we can solve this equation. Come out to the result. Price should be one hundred eighty-eight dollar each person. Question two: The following data pertain to the operating budget of math manufacturing. Capacity per period is sales of eight hundred thousand dollar. At the sales level, seven hundred twenty thousand dollar. Fixed cost is two hundred twenty thousand dollar. Total variable cost is three hundred twenty four thousand dollar, and the net income one hundred seventy six thousand dollar. Perform a break even analysis to show algebraic statement. Of the revenue function and the cost function, calculate break-even point in sales dollar and as a percentage of capacity. A detailed break-even chart. So let's look at our information. So at the sales level, seven hundred twenty thousand dollar. So that is our total revenue. And we have fixed cost two hundred twenty thousand dollar, total variable cost three hundred twenty four thousand dollar, and the profit or net income one hundred seventy six thousand dollar. In this case, we do not have the price of the product, so we may not be able to figure out the quantity of the product. However. It doesn't affect the result. Break-even analysis for finding the sales at a break-even point. So let x represents the quantity of sales, and we make assumption to make the question easier. Assume the unit price is one dollar. So in that case. Our total revenue function would be x, which is the quantity multiply one dollar. And in that case, our variable cost per unit would be three hundred twenty-four thousand dollar. That is total variable cost divided by seven hundred twenty thousand. That is the total units. Give us forty-five cents variable cost per unit, and we can express our total cost function as two hundred twenty thousand plus zero point four five x. From break-even concept, total cost equals total revenue. So we put them together, and we have x equals two. 
220,000 plus 0.45x. From here, we can solve x 400,000 units. But this 400,000 units doesn't give us actual idea because it's based on the assumption $1 price. But we can come out sales 4,000 $400,000 since we assume that $1 price and this $400,000 break-even sales would be the real situation doesn't necessarily reflect the quantity of the products but it's a sales so when we use this sales compared to the capacity capacity also being described as dollar, eight hundred thousand dollar. So in that case, we have the percentage fifty percent. So that gives us idea the business in a pretty healthy situation. Break even sales only reach the capacity fifty percent. So in that case, when we exceed fifty percent capacity, we still have another half, another fifty percent to make profit. Here we can show the chart. Total revenue, function, straight line. And the total cost function, straight line. Since we know they are straight lines, we can simply find the two points and connect this straight line. So here the red line, total cost function. And in this chart clearly shows Cross point is our break even point. Clearly shows the cross point is our break even point. Question 3 Rubber and Steel Company is planning to manufacture a new product. The variable cost will be $61 per unit, and the fixed costs are estimated to be. $5,904. To be competitive, the selling price of the product is to be $150 per unit. A variable selling expense is expected to be $17 per unit. Perform a break-even analysis showing computation of the following. Contribution margin, contribution rate, break-even point in unit, break-even point in sales dollar. So let's work out this question. Make a list of our information provided in the question. Variable cost. You have $61 clearly pointed out. And we also have the expense related to each individual product. Variable selling expense, $17. So we need to put them together. Give us the variable cost per unit, $78. And the fixed cost being mentioned, $5,904. And the price set up $150. So we can clearly come out com contribution margin per unit, which is a price minus variable cost per unit, give us $72. Contribution rate. We use contribution margin per unit divided by price give us 48%. And break even volume in units, we can directly use the farmer, put the information in fixed cost of $5,904 divided by $72, which is contribution margin per unit, give us break even quantity, 82 units. And the break even point in sales dollar. Since we already have the break-even quantity, we can use 82 multiply 150, give us $12,300. If you want to use another formula, we can use a fixed cost divided by contribution rate. You will get exactly the same answer. Question 4. Time for us has set up a booth in shopping mall to sell calendars during the holiday season. 
They can purchase the calendars for two dollars sixty-nine each. They plan to set the unit price at nine dollar ninety-nine cents. During the time they are in business, they must rent equipment for $190 per day and pay wages of $321 per day. Answer the following questions. They are independent questions. Part A: How many calendars must they sell each day to break even? So let's look at. Purchasing calendar. So here's only the trading part, not in manufacturing. So for the dealer selling this calendar, the cost part only for buying this calendar. So that is a variable cost per unit, two dollars sixty nine cents. And the fixed cost part, which is equipment. Being rent per day and has nothing to do with how many calendars being sold, and the wages per day also has nothing to do with how many calendar being sold. So we put them together. One hundred ninety plus three hundred twenty-one give us five hundred eleven dollar. That's being considered as fixed cost, and we have the price. Nine dollar ninety nine cents. In this case, we can set up contribution margin per unit, which is a price minus variable cost, give us seven dollar thirty cents. And we do have contribution rate. We can use seven point three divided by nine point nine nine. And the break even volume in units. Well, here we answer part A. We don't really need the C rate. We just、uh, show the contribution rate as a pra practice here. For part B, if they decrease the wages to two hundred forty seventy cents per day, so in that case, our fixed cost would change to one hundred ninety plus two hundred forty point seven. With the new fixed cost per day, and would give us fifty nine units as the break even point. Part C: If they put the calendars on sale at twenty five percent off, what would be their profit if they sold one hundred twenty units in a day? So we have the same variable cost per unit. And we have the fixed cost, the original information, five hundred eleven, and we have the price nine ninety nine. So if the sale cut twenty five percent off, so we have the sale price would be seventy five percent of the original price, give us seven dollar forty nine cents. So the profit would be. From total revenue, take out the total fixed cost. Take out total variable cost. Give us sixty-five dollar. Part D. On the last day that they plan to be in the mall, they have two hundred calendars remaining on hand. If the wages for the day are two hundred twenty dollar. What is the lowest price they can charge for each calendar and still break even for that day? If we suppose the price as a P, then total revenue is two hundred multiply P, and then our fixed cost in on the last day would be one hundred ninety plus two hundred two give us four hundred twelve dollar, and the total variable cost. Two hundred multiply two dollar sixty nine cents give us five hundred thirty eight dollar. If we want to break even, total revenue equals to total cost. We solve this equation, come out the idea. Price should be four dollar seventy five cents. So on the last day, we can continue make it on sale, and we can drop the price down to 
$4.75 and have them sold still break even. Question 5. Sport Bags Inc. makes this and the sells backpacks for students. Financial projections for this line of product are revenue of one million two hundred thirty-eight thousand dollar, total variable cost eight hundred forty-one thousand dollar, eight hundred forty-one thousand eight hundred forty dollar, and the fixed cost of two hundred eighteen thousand dollar. So we try to answer the following question. Part A: How much is the contribution margin and the contribution rate? So. Total revenue being given, total variable cost being given, and fixed cost information provided. So clearly, we have contribution margin equals to total revenue minus total variable cost. Give us the answer: three hundred ninety-six, one hundred sixty dollar, and contribution rate thirty-two percent. Part B: How much of this product line does the business need to sell to break even? So the break even sales in dollars. That's what Part B is looking for. We can apply the formula directly since we have the contribution rate already. So give us the answer: six hundred eighty-one thousand two hundred fifty dollars. Part C. If the business was to save fifty-six thousand dollars in variable cost by offering fewer colors of the backpacks, how much of this product line does the business need to sell to break even? So our situation changed a little bit. The variable cost part saved fifty-six thousand dollars. So in that case, we replace this part in the contribution margin. Earlier we calculated, we use the original eight hundred forty-one thousand eight hundred forty dollar take out fifty-six thousand dollar. That's the new total variable cost. So give us the new contribution margin, and we use this new contribution margin turn out a new contribution rate, and put this new contribution rate. Into the same formula, and give us the idea. Break-even sales in dollar five hundred ninety-six thousand and eight hundred seventy-seven dollar twenty-one cents. Part D. If a specialized logo was printed on the backpack, the variable costs would increase by five percent, and the fixed cost would increase by. Fifteen thousand dollar. If the price of the backpacks was then increased by ten percent, what would be resulting net income? So let's check out each part. Total revenue would increase ten percent because the price increased ten percent, and total variable cost. Would increase five percent, and we have a new number. And the total fixed cost increase fifteen thousand dollar, and we also have a new number. So put them all together, the profit we use total revenue take out total fixed cost, take out total variable cost, and give us the profit. Two hundred forty-four thousand eight hundred sixty-eight dollar. Hopefully, all these exercises help you understand how to apply the formulas and how to use the break-even concept. See you next time.